Hey boys and girls, this is Blackburn here on the Blackburn Buzz coming to you today from my back porch. How cool is that? School, home, we can all stay connected during this crazy time. I'm here today to read one of our stories of the day. I'm so excited to read to you one of my favorite stories that talks about all of our different emotions. This story is titled, The Grouchy Ladybug. Let me talk about that word for just a minute, grouchy. What do you think that word means? Look at his face on there. Do you think grouchy means he's happy? He's sad? He's mad? Could it mean that he's mean? I don't know. Let's read in the story and find out about this grouchy ladybug. You ready? The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. It was night and some flies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it. It decided to have them for breakfast. And just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, said the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, said the grouchy ladybug. Or do you wanna fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked to the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of himself now. Oh, you're not big enough to fight me, said the grouchy ladybug. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. He puffed himself up and he flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said that grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow, yellow jacket, showing his stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, and he opened his jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At eight o'clock, he came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, he reached out with his long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening his sharp beak, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching his claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stump, and he started to lift his tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At one o'clock, he happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. 
You want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing his teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At two o'clock, he met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating on his chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At three o'clock, he ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering his big horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising his tusk and showing his big feet. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said one of the whale's flippers, hey you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so he flew off. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's fins, Hey, you, you want to fight? But he got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a huge slap. <gasps> And he flew all across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where he had started that morning. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. And you must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Okay, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry. Ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end. So what do you think that word grouchy means? How do you think that that ladybug was acting? Was he a happy ladybug? A sad ladybug? Mad, mean ladybug? I think he was a mad, mean ladybug. That's what grouchy means. Can you show me your very best grouchy face? That's a pretty good face. Now, how did he act at the end? Was he still grouchy ladybug? No, he was a happy ladybug. Can you show me your very best, biggest smile of your happy face? So awesome. I love when you have happy faces on. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our story to the day. I miss you so, so, so much. I miss your happy faces. Bye.